cameras trained on one man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Ipswich Town up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the danger is averted. Here's the Ipswich Town starting 11. Well, they're playing with four in midfield, but one of those central players will be slightly advanced of the other three. And his role is to find space behind the strikers and be the creative spark. Dendonka. An effective challenge. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. He has teammates around him. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Doing well to win it back. What can they do from here? Can they cover up? Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Ball. And fine work from Villa to win back possession. Well, the visitors have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Well, for Ipswich Town, they had a tough fixture last time out and could only manage a draw against Leeds United. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, away from home, it was a decent result. Today, they need to be compact when they haven't got the ball and more expansive when in possession. Otherwise, I think they have a problem Oh, big here. chance here! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Who can he pick out? The danger not over. Spot on with that tackle. Correa. Now can they counter clinically? Well, he's lost the ball. How can he take them on and beat them? And he's through here. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. One nil then. And we will have just one additional minute. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Incisive pass. And now can they keep calm? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and it's a good run, matched by a very cool finish. What a great goal that is. Ollie Watkins. A very good tackle. And this would reduce the deficit. 
Well, whether it's a great chance or a half chance, when you're trailing as they are, you've got to put them away. Well, if they are going to get back into this, those are the sort of chances they have to take. Promising attack, this. But they took care of the situation defensively. 30 minutes to go, then. Quite a lot of discussion about him prior to this game. There are many who believe that this will be his final campaign, that he's on the verge of retiring, Stuart. Well, it's a shame if the stories are true, because he still has so much to offer. But his body must be telling him it's had enough. Let's hope he has a great end to his career. And the danger cleared. Buendia.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we have FA Cup action to bring you from the round of 16, just moments away. It's Ipswich Town, and they take on Coventry City. Well, Derek, this is when teams start thinking about winning the tournament. One game away from the quarterfinals. And what a game this should be. Full of skill, passion and physicality. I'm really looking forward to this. Here's the Ipswich Town starting 11. He's in here. A magnificent stop. Well, it should be a goal, but take nothing away from the keeper. That's a brilliant save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Lati Baudier. Well, couldn't keep it. Moving it forward. And let's give credit to the defending.
Getting in there to intercept. He's in behind. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace. And then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Ellis Sims. And the ball's gone. This looks promising. Big chance. He does have pressure to deal with. Full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Surely. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Liam Kitching. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. From Avike. Oh, great attacking play. Genuine chance. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, did well to win the ball back. Well, he's beaten his opponent. A glorious chance. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Determined defending. High pressing at its best. Oh, good vision. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. There will be one minute added on at the end. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half...